The Buddha said that if you want an auspicious day, you put aside thoughts of the past, you don't go hankering after the future, and you watch what's coming up in your mind right here in the present moment. And a good way to watch the mind is first to get it to settle in on the breath. Make the breath the topic of your interest right now. When the breath comes in, know it's going in all the way in, know it's going out all the way out. Let this be the support for your mind. In Pali, when they talk about having an object of meditation, they use the word aramana, which literally means support. It's where you place your mind. And you realize your mind is your most valuable possession, so you want to place it in a good place. The problem is, as we go through the day, we place it all over. Place it, toss it here, toss it there. Whatever comes up in the mind, you put your mind there. And a lot of things are not really good supports. So, given that the mind is worthwhile, it is your most important possession, place it well. Put it right here. The auspicious day comes from knowing what's going on in the mind and then doing your duty, the Buddha says, which is if something unskillful comes up in the mind, you've learned how to let it go. Even if it's something you'd like to think about or something you'd plan like to plan to do, if you realize that the consequences are not going to be good, you learn how to say no, and learn how to say no in a way that makes it stick. Those are things that are skillful that come up. Even if you may not like them, you decide that in the long term they're going to be good for you, so you might as well encourage them, develop them, bring them to completion. That's when you've had an auspicious day. Each moment that you do that is an auspicious moment. Of course, days are made out of moments. So to make this an auspicious day, make sure that this moment right now is well placed. And you're doing your, doing your duty. And who, you ask, who's imposing these duties? Nobody's imposing the duties on you. But as the Buddha said, if you want to put an end to suffering, this is what you have to do. This is the way the world works. So for an auspicious day, make sure that your mind is under your control. And then when thoughts come up of what you might be planning to do, think about the long term. It's not that you don't think about the future at all. It's just that you don't hanker after. You don't sit there wondering, when, when, when will I get the happiness I want? Or thinking back to the past. You don't think about the pleasures you had in the past and how much you miss them. If you're going to think about the past, think about good lessons you've learned from the past about how to recognize a skillful thought, how to recognize an unskillful one, and how to deal with them properly. And as for the future, when the Buddha says, don't hanker after it, doesn't mean you don't think about it at all. After all, we are thinking about long-term happiness. So keep these thoughts in mind, and then focus your attention on what the mind is doing right now, because your life is made up of moments of right now, right now, right now. That's where you can exert power over your life. You can shape your life. So make sure you put it in good shape. And as you get more and more skilled, it becomes more and more habitual that you know how to shape your present moment in the best way possible. And the day in which you do that is an auspicious day. And unlike the days that the outside people say that some days are auspicious because the stars are like this, other days are inauspicious because the stars are like that. The planets are doing this, the planets are doing that. That's their business. Your business is to make this an auspicious day, and you can make it auspicious all the time, no matter what the planets say, no matter what the world outside is doing. This is something that is within your power. <laughs>